this video we'll show you how to obtain venous blood with a vacuum tube. Identify the patient using two identifiers. Perform hand hygiene. Explain the rationale of the procedure being performed to the patient. Show awareness of the patient's concerns related to the procedure. For needle assembly, secure a safety needle onto the vacutainer holder by screwing the grooved end of the needle into the groove tip of the adapter, holding the needle guard and turning the adapter in a clockwise motion. Apply a tourniquet to the patient's upper arm a few inches above the bend of the elbow. Feel free to place the patient's arms in a position that will assist the vein pop up. When palpating the vein, it should feel spongy. Place gloves on. Clean the site with an alcohol prep pad and let it air dry. Gather your needle guard and prepare to draw blood with your most dominant hand. Take off the needle guard and ensure that the bevel of the needle is up. Insert the tip of the needle into the vein with a quick and steady motion following the path of the vein at approximately a 15 to 30 degree angle. Push the tube into the adapter with your thumb. Complete in this order, TTN, tourniquet, tube, and then needle. Pull the needle out and place a gauze square over the site as the needle is withdrawn. Make sure your needle is in a sharps container and have the patient apply gentle pressure. Label all required specimen tubes and complete a lab request form. Place labeled specimen tubes with the lab request form securely in the appropriate specimen container for safe transport to the lab. Apply a bandage over the puncture site and check with the patient to make sure that they are feeling okay. Assist the patient out of the chair and direct them to the exit. Make sure to record the procedure in the logbook and on the patient's chart. 